Today, investigators revealed what was said on the bridge of the American cargo ship El Faro as she sank near the Bahamas last year. 33 were killed when the ship steered into the path of Hurricane Joaquin. Chris Van Cleve now on what was on El Faro's voice recorder. Hours before all 33 on board the El Faro would perish, the crew twice urged Captain Michael Davidson to change course away from the hurricane. The night before at 1114, the ship's third mate, Jeremy Rhyme, warned Davidson within hours will be 22 miles from the center with gusts to 120 and strengthening. Rhyme then said of his captain, I trust what he's saying. It's just being 20 miles away from 100 knot winds. This doesn't even sound right. Patricia Kwame's husband, Theo, was a member of the crew. I would have thrown the captain overboard and tried to save myself and the ship, you know, if it were me. But it's just devastating that something like this happened. Around 4 a.m., the captain returned to the bridge, downplaying the rough seas. This is every day in Alaska, he said. An hour later, it was clear the captain was wrong. The ship's engineer was worried. I've never seen it list like this. I've never seen it hang like this. At 5.43, the Alfaro was taking on water. The captain finally said, we got a problem. 30 minutes later, the ship lost propulsion. At 6.55, the captain made his first of two distress calls. We are in dire straits right now. At 7.29, the crew reported cargo crashing into the ocean as Hurricane Joaquin pounded the Alfaro. Captain Davidson, ring the abandoned ship alarm. Tell him we're going in. Get into your rafts, everybody. Get off, get off the ship, stay together. The captain tried to calm the other crew member on the bridge. You gotta get up, you gotta snap out of it. We gotta get out. The helmsman, you're gonna leave me. I'm not leaving you, let's go, the captain responded. Just seconds before the recording cuts out, that helmsman said, I'm gone, or I'm a goner. No, you're not, the captain yelled back. Investigators are trying to determine what information the captain had about the hurricane as it was intensifying. Scott, the storm track that was emailed to him at 11 p.m. wasn't downloaded for nearly six hours. Chris Van Cleve for us tonight. Chris, thank you.